the Houston truck driver joining demonstrators in Denver demanding change after that driver was sentenced to 110 years in prison. People on the steps of the Capitol in Colorado demanding the governor of that state step in. Rogel Aguilera Medeiros was handed down that massive sentence for a fiery pileup in Denver which killed four people and of course injured, injured several others. His brakes failed, but he also drove past four runaway truck ramps that would have detoured his rig, avoiding the accident. Four million people are petitioning for leniency in a story that has gained nationwide was handed down that massive sentence for a fiery pileup in Denver which killed four people and of course injured, injured several others. His brakes failed, but he also drove past four runaway truck ramps that would have detoured his rig, avoiding the accident. Four million people are petitioning for leniency in a story that has gained nationwide attention. Was handed down that massive sentence for a fiery pileup in Denver which killed four people and of course injured, injured several others. His brakes failed, but he also drove past four runaway truck ramps that would have detoured his rig, avoiding the accident. Four million people are petitioning for leniency in a story that has gained nationwide attention. Our David Gonzalez spoke with a legal expert about this case. Avoiding the accident. Four million people are petitioning for leniency in a story that has gained nationwide attention. Our David Gonzalez spoke with a legal expert about this case. It's, hard. it's been more than a week since Rogel Aguilera Medeiros was sentenced to 110 years in prison for his role in a deadly accident in Colorado in April 2019. Aguilera Medeiros took responsibility for the crash, but said it was not intentional. I asked to God too many times, why then? Well, I think this case is an anomaly. KHOU legal analyst Carmen Rose says, this case deserves attention because we're seeing the unintended consequences of mandatory minimum sentences. In Colorado, under the law, this is considered a violent offense. And so unlike a lot of the states, we don't run the sentences concurrently or at the same time. They're stacked one on top of the other. Rose says that's how Aguilera Medeiros ended up with such a harsh sentence. A change.org petition asking to receive the reduced sentence for clemency has collected more than 4.6 million signatures. Big name celebrities like Kim Kardashian are also calling for action. In the Colorado law is unfair and needs to be Then more than 4.6 million signatures. Big name celebrities like Kim Kardashian are also calling for action saying the Colorado law is unfair and needs to be changed. And that's the problem with mandatory minimums. And this case shines a light. She and are also calling for action, saying the Colorado law is unfair and needs to be changed. And that's the problem with mandatory minimums. And this case shines a light on those issues. Governor Jared Polis says his legal team is reviewing an application for clemency. That's the problem with mandatory minimums. And this case shines a light on those issues. Governor Jared Polis says his legal team is reviewing an application for clemency from Aguilera Medeiros' attorney. Roe wants to remind people there are victims and their families are still grieving. She says they should have a chance to let the court know what they think is an appropriate sentence. You want to take it away from me and then What is Families are still grieving. She says they should have a chance to let the court know what they think is an appropriate sentence. And their families are still grieving. She says they should have a chance to let the court know what they think is an appropriate sentence. You want to take it away from me and then it's what is justice for any one person is very individual. But in this particular case, it has to consider the victims. A motion to reconsider. I get it. What is justice for any one person is very individual. But in this particular case, it has to consider the victims. A motion to reconsider Aguilera Medeiros sentence is scheduled for next week. Sentence is very individual. But in this particular case, it has to consider the victims. A motion to reconsider Aguilera Medeiros sentence is scheduled for next week. In Houston, David Gonzalez, KHRU 11 News.